beautiful balanced body mind. Today I'm going to show you a diaphragm release. We call it a lateral blocking technique so that we can actually engage more of the diaphragm on one side. You might want to try this after you've had your diaphragm released or you can see my diaphragm release um, uh, video on YouTube also. And you get Inga here to go into uh, the, the lateral blocking position, keeping her backside pushing towards the rear, going to two or three o'clock because we're going to challenge the left side of the diaphragm um, to, to work a little better. But as I said, you probably want to release the diaphragm first before you go into that. Even if you don't, you can use this as a nice stretch. I'm going to ask Inga to breathe in. And here we can see the diaphragm pushing out and down, it's filling up the pelvic floor um, and also challenging the other tissues here. So she's going to get a nice stretch on to, into the obliques as well. It works really well because you've blocked down the right side and you've stopped the right side of the diaphragm uh, fun uh, functioning as well as it could do. You can apply this to both sides, but you may find that sometimes one side is, is more restrictive than the other. Um, it's a really good uh, stretch as well as just a, an improvement for the diaphragm. The caveat to using this is if you know someone has a spinal pathology such as a disc herniation, then you may want to clear them first before going right into this, but presumably you will have done some kind of diaphragm release in the first place. Check it out, if you want to use it as a nice stretch as well, but be careful going into it if you haven't cleared anything.